The film story begins at night, and a girl is shown to us. She was scarily running away from someone. That girl now runs and comes on the road. Then a car stops after seeing her, and two people come out of it. But that girl was very scared to see them. It can be said that maybe this girl was running away from these people. Now, both of them kill that girl with an axe. Then after this, we are shown the next day, in the same town, Cassie and her family were coming to celebrate their holidays. In Cassie's family, her father and her stepmother were there. She hated her mother very much. Cassie's father brought everyone here so that they could spend some time together. Now on the way, they stop at the hotel and eat food. But Cassie does not eat anything. She says, I am not hungry. After that, they leave for their destination after eating food. Now after a while, Cassie's father reaches his destination after taking everyone. This house was his brother's, but this house is situated outside the town and in a deserted place. Cassie goes and quickly takes her room. On the other side, Cassie's father tells his wife, you will understand Cassie soon, and it is a matter of some time, she will also start respecting you. Now at night, while eating food, Cassie has an argument with her mother, on which her father scolds her a lot. Cassie was very angry. She takes her father's car and goes to town. Now, she goes to the bar, asks for alcohol there. Then a man comes and starts teasing Cassie. On the other side, two friends were sitting there who saved Cassie from that man and drove him away. Cassie goes to them and tells them that I am new here. We have just come to spend some time. I used to look for deserted buildings in my city, and I like doing all this. And if there is such a place here, then please tell me. Now one of the boys tells her that yes, there is such a building. People say that there used to be a family in that house, but now only two siblings live there. No one knows what they do in the house. No one knows anything. Cassie asks them if the siblings never left the house. The girl says yes, they never left the house, but the boys and girls of the town disappear, and everyone says that maybe the two siblings kidnapped them, but the police also have no evidence against them, they can't catch them. Cassie tells them to go there, and both of them take her to their house. Cassie was about to go inside their house, and both friends stop her a lot, but she doesn't stop. She goes inside the house, and now both of them have to go after her. These three do a lot of investigation of their house, but they don't find anything in their house. Now they go to their basement, where they were smelling very bad. They see a sheet on which there was blood, and there was a camera in which they watched the girl's video. This was the same girl's video recording, the girl we saw in the beginning of the story. In that video, the siblings were killing the girl. Seeing this, the three understand that they are both killers. Later, they hear a voice from outside. Now the siblings had come to their house, seeing them, they hide in their house. Seeing an opportunity, both friends jumped out of the window, but Cassie's foot was stuck in the hook there, and now she goes to their grandmother's room, where she sees a skeleton of their grandmother. She becomes quite afraid and runs from the window, but the sister, from the murderers, shoots a gun at her. That bullet hits Cassie's car. The three of them run away from there. Later, her brother comes and asks her how we will recognize these people. Sister says don't worry, I shot at their car, we will recognize them with the marks of it. Now Cassie and both friends escape from them and it was morning. Cassie asks them if you are okay, then the boy says from them that we are fine, but we went to a very dangerous place, and I think they will definitely find us, we have to be careful. Later after, both friends leave and Cassie also comes to her house, when her dad sees the bullet mark on the car, he asks her, and she says that she does not know anything about it and lies. On the other side, the killer brother and sister were sitting and talking. They say I don't know who they were and they know everything about us. Then the brother says I know the boy who is often in the bar, and the sister says I also know one girl who is the daughter of the bar owner. The two brothers and sisters had learned about both of them. They say we will catch them and kill them, after which we will eat their meat and it will be very tasty. But they still don't know about Cassie because she was not from this town. Now at night, the girl who went to the house of the brothers and sisters with Cassie, she gets a call from her friend who was crying a lot and says, please save me. Now when she goes to her friend's house to save him, she sees that the two killers, brothers and sisters had caught her friend, and now they also take this girl with them. When she comes to her senses, these two friends were in their basement, they tied her up, now they asked them who was the other girl, actually, here they were asking about Cassie. The boy who was very scared, he tells them everything about Cassie. After which they both kill him, the brother feeds the boy's corpse to his animal. And both, brothers and sisters, eat the girl very deliciously. They're Cassie, who was very worried. Her mother asks her if you are okay, but she does not answer. Later, she taunts her mother and after getting angry, she goes away from there. 
She ran away from there and came to the forest. There she hears some strange voices. She gets scared and then comes back to her house. Here we see that the two brothers and sisters had kept an eye on her. After which Cassie now goes to the bar. There she does not meet both her friends. Later, a police officer comes there and asks her about those two friends. But she answers the police officer. I did not see them, but yes, I met them yesterday. Now the police officer gives her his card and says that if you ever need help, you can call me. There we see Cassie's father and his mother who were at home. Someone loudly knocks on their door. As soon as Cassie's father opens the door, there was a lot of blood in front of his house, seeing which he gets scared. Later, the two brothers and sisters come inside their house and catch them. When Cassie comes to her house, she also gets scared seeing the blood. She calls the police. But there was no network. She sees that someone had beaten her mother a lot. Her condition was very bad, and she was tied to a chair. Then Cassie asks her mother, who did this to you? She says that man is behind you. Then the brother among them catches Cassie. There the sister takes Cassie's dad to the forest. After putting an apple on his head, she tries to hit. Cassie's dad says, look, you can take as much money as you want. She says, no, no. We don't want money. We want your flesh. We will kill you and eat. You are our food. Now she shoots her dad. And the direct shot hits the apple. There Cassie's mom asks her brother, Why are you doing this to us? On whom he says, Ask your daughter. Cassie tells him that I went to their house. I didn't know about it. That they are killers. Now he leaves there. After which Cassie's rope was opened. She calls the police and calls for help and again sits on the chair and pretends to be tied. After which both the siblings come there. And Cassie's dad was also with them. There the police officer also came, who stands outside, looks at the killer brother, and says, I have forbidden you, who is not from this town, you will not harm them, you leave them. He says how can I leave them like this if you do not support us? Then I will give all your wrong videos to the police, and do not forget that you are our cousin. This means the police officer was also with them, and he was also their relative. Then here the sister hides behind and shoots the police officer, and then her brother kills the corpse with his weapon, and they take him to the fire and roast him. On the other side, in the house, Cassie's dad tries to free his wife. Then the killer sister comes there and was about to shoot her dad. Later, they catch her, but she attacks him with a knife. When Cassie's dad's wife comes to save him, she also attacks him with a knife. Then Cassie comes there with her dad's gun and shoots at her hand. Later, she runs away from the window and goes away. There the killer sister comes to her brother, who was roasting his cousin police officer and eating him. Cassie's dad was also with them there, whom he had just caught. Brother says next time it is yours. Your meat will also be very tasty. Later, he sends his sister to the forest to find Cassie. As soon as she goes to find her, Cassie attacks her from behind and kills her with an axe. Later, she goes to her brother and shoots him with his big gun. Because of this, he falls into the fire and dies there. In this way, Cassie had saved her mom and dad, her mom who was very injured. She is taken to the hospital. After some time, she also gets well. They were all very happy because now they had become a good family. Cassie got absolutely fine with her stepmother. This movie ends here. Thanks for watching the video. Please hit the subscribe button for more interesting updates from us.